In the previous episode with Boots by Breaking Down, we struggled to advance only 4.4 miles. And after my bike's battery died, we end up stranded in the middle of the desert to pass the night. We hope for a better day today. Cue intro. As you can see in the map, highlighted in green, is the section between the Haratak Hill and El Valle de los Dragones, where we spend the night, and the section in orange is the 47 miles we have left to reach the campsite. We sleep with full gear and helmet on under the stars. We need to keep an eye on our fires to not let it get extinguished, so we stay warm and keep any unwanted visitors at bay. At sunrise, we start evaluating our options, first the necessities. We have a quarter of a gallon of water and a couple of energy bars. Additionally, we have no phone signal. And considering that David is the only functioning bike, he will be our designated rescuer. He will ride back to the campsite looking for anyone who can come and help us. But if he can find anybody, then he will go to the camp and return with the Tacoma to take us back. As soon as, as David is ready to leave, he has Boo for the Tacoma ski. And it is at this moment when Boo realizes that the key is 3.8 miles behind with his motorcycle. So, change of plans. Go back and get the Tacoma ski first. After David returned with the key, he started riding towards the campsite um, around 8 in the morning. Meanwhile, the sun started warming up, so we ditch the jackets and start exploring around in El Valle de los Dragones until we see any vehicle coming our way. And this is how we get rescued by David. I got repositioned in my bike because I was thinking of leaving here. Now I'm just gonna jump start my bike and get out of here. start to see in the places that we were trying to get to last night. Like here, we have the Sandstone Canyon entrance. And this is the wind caves. Yeah, I don't think I would hike that with these boots. And look what a beautiful sight this canyon is. Pretty silly actually. I saw like a three different roads and I couldn't decide which one to take. So I decided to stop and ask David, but because the sun is very loose, the front tire sunk into the sand and I dropped the bike. I got it! Yeah. Uh, am I right? All roads go to the same direction. Whew. I would take the other one. Looks more compact. Alright, thanks. We are out onto the asphalt. I definitely must.
has to stop here. It just feels so good to be back at the campsite. We need to unload the Tacoma and remove the camper. Additionally, in the morning, we will look for a place that we can rent some ramps to load bus bike into the Tacoma. We need to take a good shower, prepare dinner, and rest. Tomorrow we will have a lot of work. We didn't find any ramps, so we decided to load the bike by lifting it ourselves. So we're set for the first uh, rescue mission. ADV rescue mission. All right, let's do it. Okay. Uh, we expect to see coyotes, hyenas, like said, wolves. Right? wolves. Oh, and, those wolves are these guys, man. And desert lions. <laughs> and uh, alligators, I think. I saw signs for alligators. <laughs> and pythons. Pythons. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Hey, I'll bring my, my hair clipper. Yeah, nice. Holy, a warning sign for mountain lions with five bullet holes. This is rad right here. Yeah. So cool. I can't even see the front of my truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much beautiful scenery that we missed due to having all the concentration on making our way out. Yeah, exactly this like shit, it, man. right? Exactly. Yeah. Like the tracks and then the washboard and then the deep sand. Deep sand. Yeah, man, you were riding this shit like a champ last yesterday. <laughs> Thanks, man. I was really scared. <laughs> That, that sort of feeling that you're scared but you're enjoying it? You know? Yeah, weird? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's somewhere in there, like between, between fear and excitement. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, the, when we when we dropped, uh, when we were riding two up, uh -huh. that was a that was about as soft a landing as you get, man. Yeah, yeah with yeah. two people on a bike in the dark. Like, I remember yeah. I, we fell and then I'm like, yeah. oh shit, that was kind of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, it was, it was definitely, it was so deep. It, yeah. was like, it was like falling to the beach. It was like, you know. We got a ways to go over right here and the bike. Yeah, yeah. sun is here. No ground fires. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. Oh, wait, 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 maybe we can butt turn around right here. This trail, huh? So maybe keep going and then if you, if we have a visual on this, we can walk it, take a look. Yeah. Then you could do a three-point turn here and back it in. Okay. All these we pass on the night, though. We wouldn't be seeing much. The David put brought yeah, it. I, 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 yeah, I wrote it. But... You remember seeing that split rope? Sorry? You remember seeing that split rope? Honestly, I was so... 
concern with making it safely through, but I didn't look at anything. Yeah, I know how to I literally looked at nothing on the way out, too. So I didn't even see uh, sandstone, I didn't see anything. I was just like, get out of here. it was like, which is just above that incline that looks like a wall. The idea here is to back up the truck and use the incline as a ramp to load the bike into the truck's bed. The only thing is getting it in and we're keeping it stable, you know. I think do you want to touch? This is as good as you get. Once want to the weight of the bike is down, I'm probably going to scrape it. Okay, okay. So then, so then give it some. So, yeah, yeah. And, and we can bounce it off on. We went up to bring the bike. As you can see here, this was the last incline that we pushed the bike. David asked Boo for the bike's key since it was locked. And it was at this moment when Boo realized that he left the key again in his jacket at the campsite. It is just really funny. New plan. First we throw on dragging the bike with its black handlebars and put something under the front tire to function as a slider. But soon we realize that going downhill, we will end up smashing it on the back of the truck. Oh, you clear it, you clear it. Left. Yeah, no, little left, little less, right there. So the decision was to try to get the truck up to that wall, to the bike. As you probably guessed, we use some rocks to lift the front of the truck so the tail can be low. Hi boys. The last test is that that little lift. I know, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that little dip. One last look. Back there is where the heart attack hill is. We decided to take a quick stop at El Valle de los Dragones that sheltered us during the night and build a little cairn to mark this meaningful place for us. Once we arrived at the town, we decided to stop at a restaurant to have dinner and a well-deserved beer. And just as we arrived at the campsite, we found it all trashed by strong winds. Orthodox only. Uh, the, the wind is blowing from the back, it's pushing it this way. Some of our stuff is spread out. Boost tent is collapsing with the winds, and my tent has broken poles, meaning I can't sleep in it. Putting everything in perspective, Boost bike is not functioning, my bike with the risk of ending up with a dead battery at any moment, and with camping gear damaged in the windstorm. 
I'll say those are pretty good indicators that our adventure trip reaches its end. Here's where we draw the line. For all this, we decided to spend the night in a hotel. In the morning, we'll pick up our camping gear and bike to start driving back home. After relieving these events through these videos, I can say that during the moment that you are living the adventure, it doesn't always feel like a good experience. But when you look back at it later, it brings you great memories. Because the dreams are not to be fulfilled, they are to be lived. Life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely with a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid on a broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. We thank you for being with us during this whole adventure. Now is your turn. Go out and live your dream.